Hey everybody, it's that time of the week again. We are coming to you live from Oakland, California. Batting a thousand here in Oakland. If you can afford to support me or this broadcast, you can do so at PayPal, Ball Chandler, Venmo, The Chris Chandler Show, or Patreon, a continuing supporter at The Chris Chandler Show. We have a special guest for you. How y'all doing? Come gather around me, people. I promised you a special guest, and I was not kidding. Looks like my camera's gotten all crooked. That's a little better. Please welcome, I am in her home, my former partner, Jen Della. Everybody say hi to Jen. You know, over the past, well, 25 years, really, um... First, I want to do a little house cleaning. I am sorry about last week. I did it on Monday. I got all the days confused. New Year's Day, Christmas, all that stuff. I got the days confused, and I did it on Monday. And more people watched on Monday. <laughs> but uh, next week, well, I'm going back to uh, Austin in on Friday. And, um, well, my birthday is coming up, so I'm not going to be doing one next week. It's going to be off next week. There you go. There's your house cleaning. We've been listening to Pete Weiss and the Weistronauts. You know, over the past 25 years or so, I have moved a lot. And uh, last April, during COVID, I went back to New Jersey to get my stuff and ship it back to Austin. And Jen and I want to do a poem about that. And this is a song that Jen wrote during COVID as well. We mashed them together over this New Year's festivity since I've been here in Oakland. And you are the first people to hear this. <laughs> so there you go. Hey, how y'all doing? Ready? Oh. This is the, Jen's first time ever doing a broadcast. <laughs> she played live on stage for the first time uh, la last uh, couple of days ago in, in San Francisco. We did a show with our friend Dawn O'Berg, and that was her first time on stage in a bar. <laughs> there we go. Say hi to Jen. my meager possessions removed from a cinder block storage bin in Piscataway, packed and labeled and boxed into a small U-Haul to meander the thin highways of fat America to yet another destination. ice cream chair that I used to stand upon and wax the manifesto electric. Sad to see it go, but it seems symbolic somehow to lose yet another treasured item amongst so much else that has been lost. Does the tree dream of the grove that Goodbye, little town. No. I will miss you. I had dreamed of making you my home. 
I've always wanted a home like you. Everything within walking distance. A diner, a restaurant, a music venue, a thrift store, a vintage store, a used bookstore, a record store, everything. Goodbye, cute little diner. Slow shadows grow and fade. I am having one last breakfast with you. Remember all this ever changed. As I write this poem, I love you. Goodbye, cute little music venue two blocks from my house. I'm sorry we only knew each other during the pandemic. You probably didn't even know that I'm a performer too. Maybe we will meet again one day, properly. And goodbye, liquor store. I will not miss you as much as you once thought I would. Drink your sorrow, feast your fear. Life continues through your tears. Goodbye, little deli. Remember the time that I tied Drifter up to a big metal table and he dragged it out in the middle of the street, stopping traffic on Raritan Avenue? I love you. Lonely is the heart of man, seeking so a true companion. Thieves and lovers wander Goodbye, musty old used bookstore and the eccentric man that ran it. I'm sorry I didn't get to know you better. There was a pandemic. I'm glad you've still got your doors open. I love you. Goodbye, auto mechanic. I will never forget that you gave me your business card as I was headed out of town, driving away, saying if anything happens along the road, call me. Maybe I can talk you through the fix. Who does that? So I say we'll find a way to share our hearts another day. Goodbye, backyard. It's so hard to say goodbye, holding fast against the Your empty. new fence and walkways. Slow shadows grow and Stone fade. bench and gardens. Remember all is ever changed. It makes me happy to know that you are in much better shape like the than you were when I met you. Goodbye, front yard. Fast the With your brand new garden boxes. Slow and that little goofy fish fountain. And lighted flamingos. And wicker, wicked reindeer. I am happy that you were better off than you were when I arrived. Love the gentle rain. I love you, old house, but every exit is an entrance. There you have your poem of the week. Thank you so much for gathering around. Thank you, Jen. And it's time, my friends, for your moment of spin. Give me a number between one and three. Give me a number between one and three. I, I, oh, thank you for the hard buttons. We will be back at the Jim Alberti Theater for the next one of these, coming back to Austin.
Steve Perez says seven. That's not between one and three. Joanne Tinder says two because she knows the only number between one and three is, in fact, two. Observations from a roadside diner. Let me have a number between one and 130. One and 130. Steve Perez saying number seven. You're always a trickster. Steve Perez says, now says two. I think that was for the between three, one, and three. Well, oh, I'm set. Joanne Tinder, once again, it's Joanne Tinder. She's saying 65. Sorry, Steve, we had a little miscommunication. 65. This is so true. And considering that my birthday is on the 16th, and I get a national holiday for my birthday, Martin Luther King Day, this one kind of makes sense. It doesn't matter how young, how old, how middle-aged you are. You will go through the rest of your life listening to the music that you listened to in the ninth grade. And you will dance exactly the way you danced in the ninth grade. There you have your poem of the week and your moment of spin. Thanks again to Jen Delleth. And uh, we will see you not next week because it's my birthday. And we will see you the week after that. I'll probably post something at this time anyway. Hey, Michelle. Michelle Siller says hi to you, Jen. Thanks, Steve Perez. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so long, y'all.